What is going on guys, welcome back to Ramming All The Way, it is season 3, there's been a little a little bit of a break, but we are finally here, we'll do a little kit reveal, we'll do a squad reveal of how the squad is going to play, and we are finally in season 3, let's go. So here we have both home, away and third kits, we have a brand new sponsor, and it is Uniqlo and that's going to benefit the club massively we have a good bank balance now heading into the start of the British Super League season so what I wanted to show you before jumping straight into the first game which is against Wolves I wanted to show you what the team is going to look like so we have a very I'd say strong first team for what we have if you remember we bought in Phil Jones we bought in Gianluca Itter, Regan Paul some some top talent to be honest for the side and this squad is hopefully going to keep us in the British Super League because that's the first priority is staying up and then progressing from there if we get in the top half I'll be incredibly surprised staying up and avoiding relegation is definitely the main priority right now and if we take a look at the schedule and we take a look at the first say five games of the season they're incredibly hard we have Wolves, Chelsea, Burnley, Arsenal and Man City for the first five and we're gonna as always commentate the best the best that I can in the Wolves away match away for the first game of the season and then Chelsea, Burnley, Arsenal, Man City and the other six out of them we're gonna sort of do behind the scenes and then I'll give you a little overview as per usual but let's just get straight into the Wolves game because it's going to be a massive game. If we can pull a result against Wolves, I will be so, so happy. One final thing that I wanted to just quickly show you before we jump straight into the first game against Wolves is that the team cohesion is good and the club atmosphere has actually dropped since the end of the last episode, which was the end of the season. And it's dropped down to the fact that I've, I've had to try and offload players and I've tried to put players on the transfer list and some of them aren't happy and I've, I've sort of had to compromise and say look you're going to get some game time but I want you to leave and it's, it's it's really hard in football manager to actually balance that but that's just kind of like how it works with football management I know that Louis Binks for example is worried that Phil Jones is going to take his position in the team and Louis Binks was brought in as a first team player because I wasn't 100% sure initially when I brought him in that we were going to be going up and we did we had an amazing run of form and so Louis Binks is maybe surplus to requirements at this point but we'll just have to see. So here we have it, the first team of the British Super League season. We have Ben Woodburn in the advanced forward position, Maran and Lawrence on either side of the wings. We have Jason Knight on the shadow striker position. I am sure he's absolutely going to boss it this season. And we have Oriol Busquets, Max Bird, Gianluca Itta, Louis Binks, Lukas Moul, Regan Paul and Mayel Shvila all starting in our first game of the season. Now we are missing Phil Jones out for injury up to three weeks with a twisted ankle. And we have, you know, a mix of a team where our first team could potentially play incredibly well. And Louis Binks is going to need to be taken off at half time, 100%. So we're going to hope that this team don't jump straight on us. But we'll get into the game because this is a massive game. We need to win this if we want to at least secure survival. I know it's the first game of the season, but we need to perform well against teams that are mid-table teams without a doubt. So let's jump straight into it. So we have the first highlight, Raul Jimenez is running into the box and he's on the right wing and Dendonka has absolutely skied it 10 minutes into the game. I was very nervous then, we haven't made a shot and we finally have, we have now Pedro Neto on the corner for Wolves and saved by Mayo Shvila. Adrian Maran now passes it back to Louis Binks, Louis Binks is going to make a drifting run, it up, passes the ball out but Johnny Otto has picked up the ball and now Raul Jimenez has passed it on the right wing to Pedro Neto and Jason Knight's picked the ball up. Can he make a run? He's being closed down by Joe Linton. Pass the ball back to Connor Cody. He's moved to Everton in real life at this point. Pedro Neto back to Joe Linton. Raul Jimenez has made it 1-0 
to Wolverhampton Wanderers 17 minutes in. This is not the result that we wanted. And he's just showboating with that celebration there. He's done a little cartwheel. It's 1-0 to Wolves and we really need to, to somehow change something. We need to encourage the team and hope for the best there. Now we have Regan Paul with a throw in. Connor Cody, that was a poor throw in. Connor Cody, Dan Donker, and now Gianluca it has picked up the ball. We need to pull a result against Wolves to show that we are worthy of the British Super League. Max Bird now with the ball in the middle of the park to Ariel Busquets. Chip the ball over Tom Lawrence. Now the star man, Derby's passed the ball into Ben Woodburn. What's Ben Woodburn? Tom Lawrence has crossed the ball. And Adrian Maran has scored the first goal of the season. Most unexpected. We played him on the left wing. He can play there. And he's absolutely smashed it into the back of the net with his noggin. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant stuff to make it 1-1 away from home against Wolves. Look at that replay. Simple header play. Incredible stuff. Now Johnny Otto with a throw in very close to the corner flag. And it's just what looks like just hit the post. But I wasn't 100% sure whether it did. Sometimes football manager does, does that thing where he's supposed to. Libby Cannon, the man we bought on for Louis Binks, is also potentially injured. I know it's an orange injury. But sometimes those injuries are just like a pulled thigh or something where they can play through. Tom Lawrence now with the ball in the middle of the park. Ben Woodburn in the centre circle back to Bird. Regan Paul now. And now Lee Buchanan with the ball passes it to Jason Knight in the middle of the park. Gianluca Itter on the left hand side to Adrian Marin. It's been chipped right over to Edin Shamir. Jason Knight's passed it through to Ben Woodburn. Ben Woodburn is going to make a run and it's saved by Jose Saar. And it is 1 1. Heading into the final dying moments of the game. I call this a result unless Wolves pull a goal. And that is it. Full time. Wolves won. Derby County won in the opening day of the season. So rather than the usual 10 games simulated. I've decided to leave it at 5 games simulated. Just down to the fact that I wanted to make the season a little bit longer than 5-6 episodes as normal. And to prove that we have a good team we are sat 13th in the table after six games with eight points and we'll quickly run through the schedule so after the first 1-1 draw we somehow beat Chelsea 3-1 incredibly surprised at that result Jason Knight, Tom Lawrence and Adrian Marin all getting goals in that game we beat Burnley 2-0 drew against Arsenal and then Man City and Liverpool were obvious losses the Chelsea game was a surprise but Man City, Liverpool obvious losses we've got Brentford, Leicester Aston Villa, Brighton, Bournemouth, you know, teams that we could potentially pull results against. I'm hoping for at least draws against most of them. And then we've got Bournemouth in the United British League Cup second round, entering straight into the second round. Ebbles Fleet in the United British Cup third round. So we've got a good run of results. And if we quickly take a look at the person with the most goals... It's Adrian Maran and Lucas Muller. So our forwards are not performing how we'd like them to. And that is something we're going to take a look at off camera. And the injury risk is very high for all of our players. To the point where we're very worried about a lot of players. Ricky J. Jones is not performing. We've given him a chance. But he's not performing. So going into the next episode, we're going to be trying to sort of play maybe Tom Lawrence up front or Jason Knight sort of back and forth we might even play with just shadow strikers rather than strikers and if that performs well then i'll be incredibly happy but we're 13th and we're not bottom like i thought we might be we've we've got some good players in and you know Gianluca Itter is playing incredibly well if you look at his average rating it's 7.23 Mario Shvila is also playing very well for a newly promoted side so the team is playing better than i thought but we are definitely going to have to work out what is going to work best for this derby side going into this sort of this first half of the season into the next episode because this was more of a introductory episode into the new season and yeah without further ado i hope you've enjoyed give it a like comment down below what you enjoyed about the video i know it's a bit of a short one today in comparison to previous videos i just wanted to get a new episode of ramming all the way out of the way there's a bell down below as well click that because you'll get all notifications to my latest videos and if you're watching these ramming all the way videos then it means a lot because you're three seasons in you don't even have to watch the 
previous two seasons to kind of join in at any moment that's all completely your choice but thank you for watching have a great day i love you guys